Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode and we're going to look at some really cool green light castings. Um, kind of all over the place today. We got some newer stuff, a bunch of older stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess just uh, stay tuned and check them out. We're going to start with this one right here. This is the 1977 Pontiac Lama Safari um, from Estate Wagons Series 4. Um, I did do a, a showcase on this entire series on the Lamley blog before I even had any of the cards because I had uh, I did also a case unboxing of this uh, courtesy of Dicastrum. So I've seen all these cars before, but I didn't have any of my own, and uh, I didn't get the whole set. But I did get a couple. This was the one one of the ones that I got. Um, <clears throat> really cool. Loving this. I love the blue color of it. I love the little wood paneling. It's just a great looking wagon. Sweet Pontiac. So that thing just looks absolutely amazing. This thing has a uh, opening back hatch, which, you know, uh, am I going to open it? Uh, yeah, I'll open it. All right. There's the interior. <clears throat> it is metal, the part that you open. Uh, the hood does not open on this casting. Really cool. Anyway, I really like this one. I'm a huge fan of it. It's got a trailer hitch. Uh, just a great looking wagon casting. Big fan. Love that one. All right. Next, uh, we're going old school. This is from... Uh, Black Bandit Series 2. This is a 1965 Dodge D100. As you can see, the packaging has seen some better days here, but uh, looks like the casting is still in good shape. This is limited to 4032. Go ahead and pull that out. And here it is. Pretty cool step side version of the tooling. <clears throat> mm, looks pretty good. You got a, a green dot down here, of course, is on the rivet. That's uh, typical of older green light. Of course, this is a metal body, metal base. 1603 is the number on the bottom. Did we look at the number in the first one? No, we didn't. 3178 is the number of that one. Uh, tooling number, by the way, is 170 on this. Tooling number on the Dodge is 32A. So it's the A version of the tooling, which they do a step side, I think, and a fleet side version. And I think like a short bed, long bed. So they got some different variations of this casting. I think this hood opens, but it is really tight and I am not going to mess with it. We're just going to keep it the way it is. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, it looks pretty good. The bed's a little bit crooked. It's got a little bit of banana action going on there. Kind of frowning at you from the side there. Not the worst I've seen, but yeah, it looks okay. Nice version of that truck. Pretty cool black bandit car. Flat black. Looks pretty good. Quality is uh, there otherwise. And it looks pretty awesome. So that is car number two of 10 Car Tuesday. This next one is the 1970 Plymouth Cuda from Greenlight Entertainment uh, Auction Block Collection Series 8. When did that come out? Uh, 2009 is the copyright date on it. Here's a look at the back real quick. You can read that if you want. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open it up. I don't know if I had a, had a convertible of this yet. I think this might be the first one I've got. It's the convertible of this tool. I've got a bunch of the other ones that have a top, but I didn't have, I don't think, any of this convertible. Sorry, top down version is what I should really call it. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> nice color yellow. Hood pins. That's kind of cool. Hood opens on this one. I'm not going to do it. 
green rivet 1940 and tooling number is I think that's 016A yeah and this is your basic green light muscle car tooling it's not a bad one I like I've got a bunch of different variations of it um, it's nice not the most exciting green light car but it's a decent muscle car and uh, I think it looks pretty good so there's that one all right that was number three <clears throat> keep it moving this one is the Blount County Sheriff Ford Police Interceptor from Country Roads Series 13. Nothing really to look at on the back of this card. Uh, this came out 2015. It's your basic Crown Vic casting, uh, which is a fan favorite <clears throat> from Greenlight. Blount County Sheriff, Patrol Division, yeah, pretty good, pretty good version of the car, uh, does it help on these, yeah I think it does, no, even if it does I'm not going to mess with it, um, <clears throat> it looks like the first time they tried to push down the rivet they missed, see that right there? Dunk. It means they're actually. I think you might be able to pull the. I don't know if the back is really even secured down. The front one looks a little weird too. Interesting. So 4557 there. Tooling number 44B. Nice little Crown Vic. If you want to go crazy you can try to collect all the crown vicks that ever came out um from green light you'd have a tough time doing it some of the older hopper suits can get pretty expensive so good luck with that but it is a cool casting if you're a crown vic, vic fan you're a fan of that all right <clears throat> next up let's follow that up with something new now i also did a feature on this new van tooling on the lamley group so check out Lamy Group. If you search by Champion DJK in there, you'll see all the articles that I put on there. Uh, this is a hobby exclusive of the 1969 Ford Club Wagon. And it is a really cool one. It's a really cool van. And I did a feature on it. Uh, of course, before I even had the van in my possession, because I used the one that Die Castrum had ordered. And then, of course, I had to get one for myself. So... Being the van collector that I am, and just digging, digging vans in general, this thing is pretty sweet. This is a really cool tooling. So 2331, um, tooling number 178 is what it looks like. It looks like you got a little bit of extra glue here on the bottom for this bumper. That's right. Better than it falling off, I guess. Anyway, a real basic van. I think it just is a really good job. They did a really great job with the, the tooling itself. I'd say that's quite fantastic. Definitely digging that. Very, very cool. So if you're a fan of vans, this one's right up your alley. Shout out to that van guy on YouTube. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's do one more newer one. It's the last newer green light I've got, and the rest are going to be older. Uh, this is the 1986 Chevy Capri. Caprice. Uh, what is that? How do you pronounce that? Broam? <laughs> I don't know. Brom? 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 Anyway, it's from Vintage Ad Cars, which is a really cool series from Greenlight, actually. Um... This is Series 2 so far, so they only come with two series, but they're really cool because they are cars that were features in vintage ads. And, uh, which is awesome because they're usually like kind of like, I don't know, like not necessarily like special editions of the cars, but usually nice stock liveries and just look usually pretty good. So this whole series actually isn't bad. But this car is awesome. Real glad to have it. Um, 
I knew the minute that this one came out it was going to be a hit. Or that I saw that. What? Wait a minute. What? Well, here you go, folks. This is an unspun green light. So if you ever wanted to see what the tooling looks like on the inside, I guess we get to do that now. Bonus. All right, so 2840. Tooling number 169. And it is... I don't know if it's unspun or what the heck happened there. GL169. Uh, so you can see the hood doesn't open or anything like that. You can see kind of how there's how the bumper is connected just with these little two things. And I think those are actually supposed to be melted down too in the back side. Weird. And so that's held in. Interesting way the windows are in this too. It's kind of strange. Hmm. Here's the interior. Not much to it, really. Some green lights are constructed more complicated than others. Well, that is... <laughs> weird. Never had that happen before, so that <laughs> is definitely interesting. I don't know if I'll end up ordering a replacement of this car or what. I might. It's because I would like one that's like all together. Maybe someone that's crazy about this might be crazy about an unspun one. I don't know. Or actually, I don't even know if you could call it unspun. Maybe they spun it too far. I don't know. But uh, that is definitely different. It's very cool. There's some excitement for the video right there. All right, so now the rest of these are going to be older green light. I'm going to take a look. we got one more Black Bandit. So this is 1964 Plymouth Sport Fury Limited Edition, one of 2,500. So pretty darn limited. Uh, special Edition car. I think, so this one came out, copyright date 2010. I don't know if this came out as like a straight pack car or what. There's no like series on it. Just a special edition up top. It's a cool looking car though. Love the, the wheels on this one. And you got a little bit of like some sort of crusty substance here on the side that I'm sure will bump off. I don't think I had a version of this tooling actually. It's got a plastic top. Oh, it looks pretty awesome. I definitely have to like some roughness going on there, and I don't know if that's if I should mess with it or not. Anyway, that's kind of weird. Um, is this tooling? I don't think I have had this tooling in my collection ever. Here is a look at the motor. The hood opens nice and easy. Again, it's got a green dot on the bottom because it's an older green light. Uh, 1366 is what the, what the serial number is on it. The tooling number is 24. Anyway, that is kind of an interesting one. Plymouth Sport Fury. Pretty, pretty mean looking car. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. All right, so that's the other black bandit that we had. And now the, the last three are going to be older hopper suits, and I'm going to save the best one for last. Let's start with this one right here. 2008 Chevy Corvette Z06 from Series 2 Hot Pursuit. Pretty cool. These are pretty desirable cars, the early Hot Pursuit Series cars. Um, kind of tough to get cheap. Um, I manage to do it though every once in a while and I uh, just don't pass up the opportunity when I see them. Pretty cool looking vet casting. Again, we're going to get that painted green rivet, of course. Uh, 1123 is a serial number on the casting. And where's the tooling number? I think this is like the first. No, it's not the first. There was a Corvette before this. 
I can't find the tooling number though. So I guess we're skipping that for now. But uh, really cool looking Corvette. Bloomfield Hills Police. Lens detail up front for the headlights with some painted detail behind the lens detail, which looks great. Painted detail on the back for the taillights. This is a really cool cop car. And these last three, including this one, are going to be really cool. So this one, definitely digging that. That's awesome. Early Hot Pursuit piece. Those are not always easy to come by. The next one is 1981 Chevy Corvette from Hot Pursuit Series 3. And this is in the Waterford Police. So I'm some lucky person in the Waterford Police got to drive around a sweet Corvette. It is looking all sorts of cool. It's cool. They got to put the light bar up there. Pretty awesome. So this one's got the green rivet. Very low number, 25. Serial number on the bottom. And the tooling number is 14. So this one's a winner. I, I really like this. Uh, there's a hood open on this one. Yeah. There's the hood. Does the hood open on the other Corvette? Did we look at that? No, we didn't. Yeah, the hood opens on the other one, too. Awesome. Yeah, this is a winner. This is a cool car. I'm glad I got this one. That's a super cool vet. I go back and forth on whether I want to try to go after all the Hot Pursuit cars. Um... They're trouble to kind of store because a lot of the Crown Vicks have brush guards and stuff on the front and like fragile pieces that are easy to break off. So I'm afraid if I don't have room to like display them that I'll end up, you know, destroying some of them. But uh, they are really cool. It's just I really like the Hopper suits when it's not a Crown Vic, you know, or not a typical police car. And that this would qualify as that. Not a typical, not your typical police car. Jeez. Uh, and this one's not your typical police car either. But this next one is also very atypical of being a police car. How about this? 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8 Edmonton, Alberta Police Service. Uh, yeah, this thing just looks mean. In Hot Pursuit Series 2. Hot Pursuit. All right, let's get this one open. I was excited to see this one pop up. Um, I honestly didn't even know it existed until I seen it, and then I ended up getting it. So this one is really cool. Very, very cool. It's Dodge Challenger tooling. Uh, number on the bottom there is 1472. Tooling number is 40. You got the green rivet because it's an older Hot Pursuit car. This one I'd imagine is very challenging to find. And when, it, when you do find it on eBay, it's probably pretty expensive. I think the hood opens on this. Yep. Why are you doing and that? There it is. Filming a video, buddy. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no, I'm filming a video. Are you talking to yourself? Yeah. All right. Shh. And here it is. So say hi to my son. Um, all right, really, really cool. Digging this one. This is definitely my favorite one of the video. And I think that's it. So that's your 10th car on 10 Car Tuesday. So definitely the last three, I'm going to say, are def definitely my favorite three cars that to, we looked at. I have to tell you something. Yeah, what are you going to say? The, uh... So definitely these are my favorite ones, these three. Very, very cool. Outside of these ones, we're going to say, I mean, I love this wagon. I absolutely love it. I love the van. The van is really cool. Ooh, dropping stuff. And uh, this thing is definitely interesting. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching.
another 10 card Tuesday episode. I have to get a replacement for that. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Thank you.